Well, hello everybody. Doug Rucker here with PressureWashingSchool.com and DougRuckerStore.com. Hope everybody's doing great. Uh, another short little video today with uh, myself and Ramundo in the shop again and had quite a few questions over the last couple of weeks about how we weight our siphon or suction hoses in our bleach tank as well as our uh, water tank for our soft wash system and downstreaming. So that's coming up next. All right, of course, before I get into the video, I uh, just want to remind everybody that we have switched our uh, uh, hands-on training for every month that we do here in Houston. So the next one coming up is September 7th, which would be just a few days away from when you're seeing this video. And then the next one I believe is October 12th. And uh, those are on a Saturday. So if you can make it in, uh, that enables you to fly in like on Friday, stay one night, you can go back Saturday. And then all the local people, of course, uh, can just drive over Saturday and traffic's gonna be much better on a Saturday. So uh, invite anybody that's interested, just go to pressurewashingschool.com uh, slash events. You'll see the schedule there right on the front page. And then to the right, you'll see information about the online video school. If you wanna do that and can't make it here, a lot of guys do both, so uh, that's always something that you can do as well. And then just a quick reminder about Difference Makers Conference coming up in February. That's February 6th and 7th. And that is with myself, Jeffrey Blackman, Ray Burt, Pat Clark. Um, so nothing about cleaning on that one. It's all about your business and how to get business, build your business, grow your business, all of that. So pressurewashingschool.com slash events. You can see all of that. Any questions, feel free to text me 281-883-3630 or email pressurecleaningschool at gmail.com. Okay guys, so we're gonna show you first um, how we used to do, uh, we get a lot of questions about how we're putting our hoses down into our tank. Um, especially since we're using uniseals. Um, these are the uniseal gaskets, if you will, that we use instead of bulkheads, especially on tops of the tanks. Uh, so we don't use drop tubes. Traditional way was, you know, have a threaded in and a drop tube that went all the way down to the bottom of the tank. And so we don't use those. We quit using those a few years ago. I started using the uniseals because, as I've said in previous videos, <clears throat> it eliminates the source of a possible air leak for a 12 volt system like the Soft D or the King Slinger um, or even downstreaming or, or whatever. So uh, we don't use those anymore. We use these. I mean, we don't use these anymore. <laughs> we use these. So uh, in the hose, just slides right through it. It's very tight. Um, and we go all the way down to the bottom of the tank with it. So what we've done in the past is we have taken the end of the hose to keep it weighted down in the tank and we'll slide, this is half inch hose and a half inch three quarter, three quarter PVC. And it's just a little piece of it, eight, seven, eight inches long. We slide it all the way through and then what we would do is we take a 45 degree elbow and just slide our hose through so it kind of set like that at the bottom of the tank. I don't use a filter. Um, I've used the sand slotted filters or sand filters, whatever they call them, uh, well filters. Um, I don't use those because I just feel like I think and I don't have any scientific evidence that it blocks some of the flow or, or reduces some of the flow. Wish I could get all the way down in here. All right, so, um, so that's how we did it. And it would basically hang down in the, in, to the bottom of the tank just like that and suck your fluid up and we just keep it up off the bottom of the tank a little bit. Um, so through the process of all the builds we do, Ramundo found an easier way. I can't ever, 
ever hold anything in my hand. I always have to drop something. So when you're drilling into your tank using the hole saw like this, what you're going to end up with is a piece like this. Okay, and it sticks onto your drill and you take it out and we toss it. All right. So Ramundo found a use for this and I'm going to let him show you what he did and how he came up with it if he wants to and all that kind of stuff and it works really great. So go ahead. So what I did, I just cleaned it really good. Real, real, real good. So clean it really good with what? Oh, sandpaper, sand all yes, the little shards sand. off of it. Yes. So okay. I put all that, make it kind of smooth so it won't have no debris inside the tanks. So I'll grab a hole saw and I'll keep drilling through it until I have hole saw, no, step, step drill, step drill bit. So I'll, I make the hole until it was, until the hole was able to go in there. So I made it just like a little a hairline smaller, so it'll be tighter on the hose, so it won't be sliding out. So you take this and you'll put it on a hard surface, like I don't know if they can see in a vice or something. Let's turn this back down for them, or in a vice. Yeah. Oh, you can do it in a vice. Yeah. Okay. So um, want me to do it obviously, y'all can tell I haven't done this where mother always does it. I can do it on the bike if you want. Okay. So we're gonna walk over to the vice and he's gonna show you how he does it. They can put it in a vice, just hold it, then just drill through it. So I already know this how far I can go based on all the times you've done it? Yes. But when you first started, you just had to kind of drill a little bit and then test Slowly it? Go. Yes. Okay. So I leave like a little hairline like that in tie. You know, you can really see it. Okay. So it'll be, make the holes a little bit tighter. So this maybe is like a three eighths. So it's just a matter of playing with the step bit and don't drill it too big, correct? Correct. And then you do this for quarter inch hose, three eighths hose, whatever for size all the hose hoses. you yes. can. So it's just a matter of when you're drilling and the hose diameter, making sure you don't get it too big to where it's going to slide. Correct. Correct? Yes. Okay, so let's go back to the table. So the tighter the hole is and you can slide the hose in there, that's great. Right. So it won't come out at all. So it won't slide off. So then what you do is you take it, hold it up so they can see, just slide it onto the hose. And that's in you, That's how you want it. But what we're doing first is we're taking the PVC pipe and we're sliding that up because that's going to provide you the weight to keep the hose down in your tank. So it's a little piece of PVC pipe. And then you just take your little washer that you made or fitting that you made so they got to make sure it's really, really clean so it won't really, be losing all the debris. Right. So make sure it's really clean. So just take some sandpaper and clean all of these little shards and stuff off of it. And because uh, you don't want this stuff getting in the tank and it gets sucked through your pump or whatever. And then it sits down into the tank like that and it doesn't go anywhere. So that's a great use for this. So that's what you're getting. When you're done with your, oh, you drilled it. Drilling through your bulkhead, that's what you get, okay? So, yeah, so he's got a ton of them in here. Just every job, he's every time we drill, he saves all these, and then he can make little fittings to keep the uh, hose weighted down into your tank, okay? Thanks, Thanks for I even use them for, um, for the reels. It's levels oh the when spacers. we're installing the reels yes. on yeah when he's installing the reels on the uh uh so i can get a lot of use of those right any little stuff so um all right so hope that helps you guys um if you have any questions let us know
All right, guys, hope this has been helpful for y'all. Uh, just a little tip and trick there that you can use for something with something that you've uh, basically always throw away. That's the way we've always done it. But Ramundo come up with a little little tip there and uh, use of something that uh, makes things makes life easier. So I uh, hope it's been helpful. And don't forget, like I talked about earlier, the hands on training has switched to Saturdays the online video school and then the difference makers coming up in february uh, any questions again text me 281-883-3630 um, or uh, email pressurecleaningschool at gmail.com if you have questions about our store or our store products feel free to text us there 281-612-1223 call us same number um, or email info at DougRuckerStore.com. Hey, I hope you all have a very, very blessed day. Thanks for tuning in. Any questions, uh, just put them down at the bottom. Um, hit that subscribe button so uh, when videos come out, we can help you. Hit the bell so you get notified, all that kind of stuff. Again, have a very blessed day.